Hi, I'm the Tipsy Gypsy, and thanks for tuning in to my channel. I am at the Kit Carson Memorial Park in Taos, New Mexico, and I am going to the cemetery. I just did a video of the actual park. I'm in the cemetery, or getting ready to go in the cemetery now. I'll put some links below of some historical significance of this. And you can look up the things for yourself. I'm going to pause for just a minute in front of this so you can read it, but you can pause it on your own computer so you can have a little bit longer to read it. Anytime you all need a little bit longer to read these, go ahead and just pause it. Otherwise, my video would be forever and ever and ever. I wouldn't have enough room on my storage card if I paused at each grave. So just hit the pause button if you need a little bit longer to read some of these. This is just a gorgeous cemetery here. 11 year old, oh, 11 year old baby. The cemetery, those, I'm sorry, grave markers are facing every which way, so I'm never quite sure where to step and where not to step. This one's facing this way. And then there's another one facing this way. Wazo? Here's a neat little He led the way. Not sure what that means, I'll have to look it up. Starting to sprinkle. Or maybe it's snow, I don't know. We have some snow up in the mountains. We actually in Albuquerque got some sleet or hail. I think it was sleet because it kind of was snowish. It's really early for it to snow in Albuquerque. Usually it's uh, November, December, but it started cooling off really early this year. I'm not going to pause at all of these. I might go over to this one here. This looks beautiful up against this tree, but it's a pretty big cemetery, so I'm not going to have time to pause at every single one of these. I'd love to. These are 
beautiful. This one looks interesting. I don't know what that is on there. I should know. I'm sure one of you guys out there are going to tell me what it is. Looks like an anchor. A lot of you ask me about these fences around the graves. Reverend F.F. F. Thomas, friend of mankind. Beautiful. So you all have asked me a lot about why there are fences around these. And I've heard several things. I've heard that it is customary to put these around graves in some cultures because they don't feel like it's proper for you to step on their graves in this way. Like I said earlier, because sometimes you don't know where there is a grave and where there isn't, especially if a marker, you can't read it anymore. And sometimes one marker is facing one way and another is facing another way, so you're not sure if you've just walked on a grave or not. I would never deliberately do that. I'm sure I've done it by accident a few times, and several of you have scolded me, and like I said, I don't do it on purpose. But a lot of times you just don't know. So I've been told that it's improper to walk on them, which of course is kind of common sense. So they put these so you can't walk on top of them. I have heard that um, other times they put them on there so that animals can't dig. Also, because if you have watched any of my other videos, my son's foot fell into a grave that we didn't even know was there and so these also prevent you from falling into them in the old the old days they didn't have the caskets that we have now they were just wood and they would eventually sink into the ground like you can see this one is it's not straight anymore so they would sink into the ground and that is one that my son accidentally stepped into I've been scolded for that too, saying we shouldn't tread upon a grave, which like I said, there was no indication, no headstone, no anything. We had no idea that there was a grave there. My son would never have walked on a grave. So for those of you scolding me, uh, some of these old cemeteries, you don't know. So I'm walking in between these two here, but as you can see this one here, and right next to it is that. So you don't really know if you're walking in between or... Anyway, I'm not going to walk in there because it looks like it is collapsing. Let me get a little closer on these. Like I said, pause the camera or pause your computer if I'm going too fast. I'm gonna walk around this one here. This one here is definitely collapsing, as you can see. It's a beautiful headstone. One thing I did want to say is my son and I were going to go and visit this really old cemetery, and I am going to uh, write something on it eventually here in Taos. The most, all of the headstones or people who were buried there were buried there in the 1700s. You can find this information out online yourself. It's right in the center of Taos. And they've put a parking lot on top of the graves, which I find, uh, uh, I, it's just, to me, it's appalling. I think it's disrespectful. I know those people died in the 1700s and probably don't have any family around doesn't matter to me. I don't think you put a parking lot over a grave. 
I mean, over a cemetery, and especially a historical one like that, 1700s. But they did. I am going to put some information. I think they should restore it. I think they should take that stupid parking lot down and restore it. And it just made me so mad. My son and I were going to come up to that, and it made us so angry to find out there was a parking lot on top of it. And there's a little sign telling you what used to be there. I just find it appalling. Sacrilegious. Repul I, I mean, really, it just made me so angry how selfish of someone to put a parking lot of all things. It's getting cold. I think it's going to snow. These aren't that old. Some are. Some are. Oh, I wanted to see that one from the 1700s. Oh, it just breaks my heart thinking about it. I can't even. Who makes those decisions anyway? It's all about money. That's all it is. It's all about making money. Somebody sold that lot to somebody who needed a parking lot more than preserving something so historical. Um, I was reading about some of them, the people who were buried there, and they said killed by the enemy. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what enemy. I have to do some research to kind of figure out what they're talking about. I suspect if it was Indians, they considered Indians the enemy, even though it was their land originally. So they may have been considering it the Indians, or when the Christians were coming up, or I don't know. I don't know who was the enemy. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but I, I thought it was just really interesting and, like I said, terribly sad. Terribly, terribly sad. Mother and father here. 1832 to 1916, 1842 to 1907. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I had my camera. Look at that old one over there. I think this is wonderful though how they have, it's, it's really unusual here in New Mexico for them to make a park. Mostly because of the water scarcity. We are in the desert and they don't usually it's usually just weeds and natural, whatever is the natural um, flora and fauna. They usually just let it go natural. It's Margaret. Patrick Lucy Margaret. This is just beautiful. This has to be the most beautiful one I've been to in New Mexico. 